Jury selection is set to begin today here in Philadelphia in a trial that Mark Houck's attorneys say could have major implications for pro-life supporters and for how they're allowed to try and keep advancing their message. Houck's case has drawn national attention given the circumstances of his arrest last September. In an early morning raid at his home, federal agents took Houck into custody nearly a year after he and Planned Parenthood volunteer Bruce Love got into a physical altercation outside of a Philadelphia abortion clinic. Houck's attorney, Peter Breen, says his client was targeted for his pro-life advocacy. Mr. Love had brought a private criminal complaint in the Philadelphia, uh, you know, the, the municipal courts. Uh, that case was thrown out because Mr. Love didn't show up for court twice. Uh, and so that is where the matter should have ended. But instead, the Biden administration wanted to make an example out of Mark Houck. Part of the Justice Department's indictment alleges Houck attempted to, quote, injure, intimidate and interfere with the Planned Parenthood volunteer because they were providing reproductive services. The DOJ calls it a violation of the Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances or FACE Act. If convicted, Houck could receive a maximum 11 years in prison and a $350,000 fine. Hauk, a Catholic sidewalk counselor, maintains he was protecting his son from a verbal assault from the volunteer. Look, it, it, if this is allowed to stand, it's an invitation to abortion escorts to be very aggressive because who's the Biden DOJ going to believe, the abortion escort or the sidewalk counselor? And the federal government can take any case it wants. You know, they can indict anybody they want. They can take any case they want to trial. And so if this is allowed to stand, it would create a horrible and dangerous precedent for sidewalk counseling across the country. Houck's defense argues the FACE Act was never meant to cover volunteer abortion escorts, only clinic patients and personnel. We've told the court that Mark is going to testify. So the defendant, he is going to take the stand. We intend to put him on the stand. And, and his son uh, is intending to testify uh, to talk about what he saw that day. Uh, and so this is uh, this is really going to be I mean, it's it's uh, you know, a, a big case. It's you know, what I say. It's I mean, this is the biggest criminal case in the pro-life movement uh, in my memory. House attorneys hope to have a pretty quick resolution and there could be a decision by the end of the week in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Matt Gelka, CBN News. Well, let's hope for a, a speedy trial, speedy decision. But it just underlines where, where we stand in, in the country today that you can call out SWAT teams with, you know, uh, weapons to come raid a home. Uh, his attorney had already volunteered him. If you're going to bring charges, we'll bring him down in for, for booking. But no, they wanted to make some kind of media frenzy out of this and, and show people just how strong they are. And I think they're doing it for political points. So here you have Mark Houck uh, living at home with his wife and children, and he gets arrested in a pre-dawn raid with, you know, numerous FBI vehicles and agents. I mean, you look at the, the video of it, and you got to be kidding me. How many people does it take to <laughs> arrest one man? You look at, at Roger Stone, a pre-dawn raid with uh, assault weapons at his home, and the news media tips so that the cameras can be rolling as they do it. You look at Mar-a-Lago and let's go serve a search warrant and let's do it with assault weapons uh, and, and plain clothes officers uh, with no idea. You look at these things and go, what have we become? Are we looking at some kind of police state? The other side of it, you can firebomb a crisis pregnancy center and there doesn't seem to be any consequences at all, uh, any leads at all. Uh, you can put your, your, your classified papers in your garage, and, and it doesn't have a, a full-blown SWAT team to descend on your, your residence. There's unequal tre treatment here, and it's quite obvious there's unequal treatment. Uh, and I hope the American public wakes up to it. Uh, and whether this is extreme on the left or extreme on the right, this isn't, doesn't belong in America. We are not a police state.